fashion brand owners and founders. In this video, I reveal the truth about ROAS and how to actually grow with ads. Maybe this has been bugging you lately. Your ad spend is roughly the same every month and your ROAS is very high, like a six to a 10, or your ROAS may have outperformed compared to last year, but your brand's percentage of growth from last year isn't as high as you want it to be or you're frustrated about why your brand isn't growing as fast compared to your competitors. This video, I'll show you why and how to actually grow with ads. And if you're new to what we do, my name is Brandon. I'm one of the co-founders of Digiceptual. We specialize in scaling fashion brands online for the past four years. If you wanna see the brands you work with, our track record, their testimonials, it's all in the highlights or the video description, depending where you're watching this. But for this video, I'll go over the truth about ROAS and how it can be misleading sometimes if you don't know how to actually read it and how to actually grow with ads. So this illustration will reveal the truth about ROAS and how it can be misleading if you don't understand how each of these factors play into each other. And this will give you the clarity on how to actually measure ROAS and how it ties to growth. So let's jump into it. So we have ad spend at the top, ROAS and growth, right? On the left, we have EC, that stands for existing customers. On the right, we have NC, that stands for new customers. So here's how this works. The more ad spend you spend towards remarketing to existing customers, the higher your ROAS will be. The more you spend on getting new customers, naturally the ROAS is lower compared to remarketing to existing customers. Why is that? Simple. Because existing customers, you already own these customers. So for example, let's say you spend seven, you're spend you spending 7K per month. You get a 10 ROAS and you're getting a 70K return. So you might be asking yourself, wow, on paper, uh, I'm getting a 10 ROAS, but why is the brand, why is the brand's growth not as fast or as big as I want it to be? See, the thing is here, here's why. Because the more, the more you allocate towards existing customers, right? The higher ROAS will be. But the more you do so, the lower your growth will be and the slower it is. Why is that? Because you're you're spending almost all your money on existing customers on what you already own. That's how your growth slows down. Growth can only be achieved by going outwards, by getting new customers with ads. So uh, inversely, the more you allocate ad spend to getting new customers, your growth goes up, even though your ROAS may be lower. So you could be spending, let's say you're spending 10K on getting new customers. You're getting a six ROAS and a 60K return. On pay, now on paper, six is lower than a 10 ROAS. However, because of this relationship, the ROAS is lower, but now you're actually achieving growth because most of these, these sales are from new customers, not existing customers. So the question you, you have to decide is, do you want to stay plateaued to where you're at? You, do you want to just remarket to your existing customers and just get these kind of returns? Or do you want to actually grow, right? So your ROAS may get lower at scale, but you're actually getting the growth that you want. If you're watching this video, chances are you want to scale and grow. That means most of your ad spend should be spent towards getting new customers because that is how you achieve growth. Because in marketing, there's only two main ways to, to grow. So excuse my beautiful handwriting. Number one, get more customers. Number two, make existing customers worth more in marketing. So there's front end marketing and then there's back end. What is back end? Email, SMS, for example, email is the most popular, right? What is front end? Ads, PR. Now we're not going to cover PR because obviously this video is about ads and that's our specialty. So the only way to make existing customers worth more is with backend marketing, right? Cause you can't use email marketing to capture new customers, right? You can't market that. Yeah, yeah, so I'm sure you know what I mean, right? So backend marketing is used to make existing customers worth more. That means the real value of ads is in getting new customers with that. Cause ads are front end marketing. Now here's the problem. If your ad spend, is if most of your ad spend is spent on getting existing customers, what is happening is your, your front end marketing is overlapping, overlapping, nope, forgot an R here, overlapping with your back end marketing. What problems does that lead to? 
attribution problems because now your existing customers are being spammed from everywhere. Like you're because you're remarketing them because your back end is remarketing to them already with email and SMS. But then if you also do a lot of that on the front end marketing, your attribution is all messed up. Right. And also your money's being burned because the value of the real value of ads, like we see here, is getting more customers, not making existing customers worth more. That is your back end marketing's job. Now, here's another thing. If you have an agency or a freelancer and most of their ad spend is spent on getting existing customers, you have to ask yourself, what kind of value are they driving? Because look, on paper, wow, ROAS is high, right? They're like, hey, look, maybe they're saying this to you. Hey, look, but ROAS is very high. But then you're like, why is my growth not as fast as I want? Well, if you look at what they're spending on carefully, most of the ad spend is probably on existing customers. That explains why I, get a, why I can get a really high ROAS. But what is the cost? Slow and low growth. So they're basically leeching off the work you've already done. Because you've already done the hard work getting them to become a customer. That's one of the hardest things to do, get, getting new customers, right? So if they're just coming in and they're just spending on what you already have and not really getting new customers, they're not actually driving real value to your business. You yourself can probably do remarketing. It's not that hard, right? Because look, simply put, because this is the market. This is, this is the opportunity cost that comes with this. This is the market, right? Let's pretend this is what you own. If most of your ad spend is being spent on what you own and only very little goes to getting new customers, how can you expect your brand to grow and capture market share? Because this, this is the entire fashion market, right? The total market cap, which is a fancy word for saying the entire fashion market. This is where all the money is. However, if you're only spending on what you already own, how can you capture and make more money? Eventually, you'll cap out, right? Because you only remarket to what you own. And your growth is not fast enough because most of your ad spend is concentrated on here, but not outwards, right? So you're, you're like inching slowly. Like, okay, inching slowly, inching slowly. But that is the reason why the growth is not as fast or as big as you want to be because most of the ad spend is focused on this. And like I said, ads are meant to get new customers, which is also means capturing market share. So ads only really have one purpose, which is capturing market share and growing your brand in your market, not remarketing to what you already own. They want to get more, right? Because that, that's where the big money is. So that's a, a quick visual of how it works. So that, that clears to you, hope that drives it home on like what the real purpose of ads is getting new customers and why ad spend should not be focused on getting on remarketing to existing customers. This, that is how the ROAS can be deceiving because if you're, because it looks high, but if you're spending on this is actually not adding value to your brand, despite it looking high, right? Now here's how we do it. We on average spend 96% of the ad spend on getting new customers across all our fashion clients. We only spend 4%, 4% or less, maybe the less, the less than sign, on remarketing to existing customers. Sometimes we spend zero because we understand the real value we bring to fashion brands is getting them new customers and that's how they grow and dominate. Not remarketing to what they already own. They, you already are doing remarketing. What is the point of us coming in and doing what you already are doing and just wasting money? This is where the real value is. Now, Here's, a, here's another thing because, so now that we covered that, because remember the scale, right? The more we spend on getting new customers, naturally the ROAS dips. How do you, how can you know that you're still profitable while still scaling to new customers, right? Because the more you expand, naturally the ROAS goes down. So how do you tell? Well, some simple math. So this is what we call the break-even ROAS. Maybe you've heard of this, but what we also like to calculate is called the safety net ROAS. So first I'll calculate what the break-even ROAS is. Let's say your margin is 50%, right? Your profit margin is 50%. How do we calculate break-even ROAS? One, divide one by your profit margin and you'll get a two. That is a break-even ROAS. What that means is to break even on ads with your profit margin, you, you need at least a two return on ad spend. Let's say on Facebook. 
to break even. Simple math, right? However, that is still too close for comfort. So what we like to do is implement a safety net ROAS, where we add, we like to add a 50% margin on top of this break even ROAS. So that would be a 2.5. So we give ourselves a 50% margin just in case, because sometimes with inflation, maybe some cost rises, something's changed, we have a margin of safety. So now in ads, we know for sure, as long as we are above this break even, we are profitable and we can just keep scaling and scaling and scaling, capturing new customers and capturing more market share and growing the fashion brand, All right? Because then if we're falling below this, it's too close to comfort. So as long as we know we're above this, we have everyone's on the same page. We have clarity that we just scale and we continue capturing market share. All right, so that's how you do it. Know your profit margin, divide one by your profit margin. So you get the break-even ROAS. We like to add a 50% margin. If you want to add more, by all means, do so. All right, so we like to add a 50% margin just to have a safety net ROAS. So we know for sure with 100% confidence, as long as we're above this ROAS, we just scale aggressively and make a lot of money. So to summarize everything, uh, here, the more we spend on existing customers, the higher your ROAS, but the lower your growth, the slower and yeah, the lower and slower your growth, right? The more you spend on new customers, the lower your ROAS might get, but the more growth you actually achieve. We spend 96% on average on new customers and only 4% on existing customers for across all our fashion clients. Because, oh, I'll go to this one. Because again, in marketing, two main ways, get more customers, make existing customers worth more. You already doing, you are already are making existing customers worth more with your backend email and SMS. So the real value of ads is in getting new customers. Because it's going back to this chart. This is the market. This is where all the money is. Where basically stuff you have not owned yet. That's where all the money is. You do not focus on what you already own. Ads are focused on capturing this pie. This is where the money is. So that hopefully clears out to you what the, what's the truth about ROAS and how you can measure it because it's affected by depending on what your ad spend is and how everything correlates with each other over here. And also how you can scale profitably as long as you understand your math with, with this simple math equation here. So if you enjoyed this video or you found it helpful or if you have any other questions, just leave them in the comments. Or we'll get back to you. And if you're interested in working with us and us scaling for you by getting new customers, capturing market share and scaling profitably, then either, depending on where you're watching this, if you're watching this on Instagram, click the link in our bio to, for more info and then book a call with me. If you're watching this on YouTube, in the video description, you just click the link and book a call with me.